So the next thing that I want to cover in this video is method injection. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to create a very quick class inside of our app directory. We're going to call it foo and I mistyped the file extension. So we're just going to say class foo. Uh, where's our syntax highlighting? So class foo and we'll say public function bar and all we're going to do is return foo bar. So let's go to one of our controllers. They are now located under app HTTP controllers and they are namespaced like so. So let's get rid of all of this messy commenting. There we go. Now we're a bit cleaner. We can do some work here. This is the method that's getting called when we load uh, this page now. So if we just die and dump hello we're going to get that here so what we're trying to do is access this bar method on the foo class inside of this function now what we would have done before is we would have added our use statement so use acme foo we would have injected it through the controller so this foo equals foo ignore this line for now add our property and then down here, what we do is die and dump this foo bar. And if we refresh, we should get, no, we didn't namespace this. Namespace Acme. Hit refresh, and there we go. We get our foo bar. Now, that's all well and good. But if you have a huge controller with lots of methods, each needing their own objects, then this constructor is going to get fairly cluttered fairly quickly. So what Laravel 5 allows us to do is method injection. So all we have to do is move this into here, get rid of this and this, and then all we have to do is call foo bar, and we should get the same result. Perfect.